Hey everyone, I'm back. I've been gone for so long, but I figured, hey, I have to come back sometime. I just can't be absent from YouTube any longer. Um, I'm really sorry. Uh, life's gotten so busy, but I missed you all, and yeah, so let's go ahead and start talking about the subject for today. I got this wonderful idea from Andrea's Choice. Um, I love Andrea. She is so smart and funny, hilarious. Um, her videos all are good. Like, I watch every video she makes. And I found this video. I'm just kind of going to elaborate on the video, I guess, and give my ideas and input on the subject. So the subject is thinking for yourselves. I know a lot of you have friends that will start telling you about um, their opinions on something, and you will start to think like they do, and they will, like, really influence the way you think about something. But we all have brains, we all have our own minds, um, and sometimes, or most of the time, it's not good to be influenced like that and to, you know, get that biased information and just um, live by that. Uh, I think it's better if you form your own opinions, um, your own mindset by what you know. Think for yourselves instead of, you know, buying into something your friend is saying. Um, let's apply this to an everyday situation. So let's say you have a friend and her name is Jill and there's a girl you know and her name is Sarah. Now Jill has been bad talking Sarah ever since you've met Jill and so you start to form this opinion of Sarah like maybe I should stay away from Sarah. Sarah doesn't sound good. Um, I don't think I'm going to like Sarah because Jill always bad talks her. Um, all she's doing is she's ruining Sarah's reputation and you're not going to get to know Sarah because you believed everything Jill said. Um, but what if Sarah is actually a really good person and a really sweet girl and she's just for some reason she's got on Jill's bad side and now you're hearing all this junk about her that isn't true. Okay, so what you got to do is say, hey, wait, why are you telling me this? Why are you, why do I need to know all this bad stuff about these, this person? Um, I know it's probably making you feel better telling me this, but um, what good does it do me? Any, if it's not doing me any good, why do I need to know? Um, also, if it has nothing to do with me, just keep me out of it, please. That's what I would say. I just can't stand people always just blah, blah about somebody and it's just total gossip or maybe not even true gossip, which would be slander, saying something that is not true about somebody. Um, she did this and, oh, I can't stand her because, you know, whatever. Just say, okay, that might be your opinion on her or whoever, but... I am going to think for myself and for my own opinion about this person my own way. So if you ask me, that is the mature thing to do and that's what I would do. Girls especially do this. Let me just say it. Girls do this all the time. Uh, they'll find a girl they just don't like and they will go tell everybody that she is a horrible person. And then everyone will start thinking, oh, there's something wrong with that girl because whoever said there's something bad about her and if you'll stop and think for yourselves everything will be so much better just resist the urge to hear the gossip um I believe that listening to the gossip is just as bad as telling it because when you listen you're encouraging it and that's not a good thing so if you're sick and tired of the drama gossip all this junk just be like, okay, I've had enough. Just stop telling me about this. And if it gets to the point where you need to stop being around the people that are doing the gossip or whatever, just do it. Just stop being around them. Just say, okay, I can't be around you anymore because you are just, this is all you want to talk about. And it's wasting my time. It's wasting your time. You're wasting your life by all you ever want to do is talk about people. And what kind of a life is that where your life is only about other people? Okay, so that was the topic for today. Think for yourselves and hope it kind of helped you um, or inspired you, whatever. Anyways, I'm linking Andrea's video right here. I love Andrea. Uh, you go, girl. I love you. For all my subscribers, this was just kind of my what do I think about the subject video. 
and hope you enjoyed it. And um, so what do you do when you hear gossip or um, when you start hearing things that are making you form an opinion about somebody, but you don't really know the person, but you're still like believing everything that's said about them? What would you do? Leave it in the comments below and let me know. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.